Um, so with today's loss, what are some things you're looking to keep doing that were working, and uh, what are things that you're looking to improve on moving forward um, in the term of this? There being essentially one loss less um, per year. Well, basically, it's all hands on deck now. You know, when you when you get one loss in a double elimination tournament, so facing a you know worthy fo uh, foe tomorrow morning, all the loss. Um, um, I still believe in our guys and what they can do. I think we can pitch. I think our guys can hit. I think our guys compete to the fullest. And I'm just hoping that comes out um, in full force tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I thought we hit pretty well. I think we had 10, 11 hits, just didn't have timely hitting. Um, Roman obviously came out, gave us a great start. Bullpen did a good job, too. Just a couple of mistakes, and we didn't come through when it, when it mattered. So if we continue playing our game and just get a big hit every once in a while, I mean, I think we'll be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, what Doc said. I believe in these guys. If any team can win four in a row, it's us. And uh, we got a real good starter on the mound tomorrow. So. Is there anything um, that you noticed from our other players that you hadn't done that previously was working that maybe you decided to do, not necessarily during the tournament, um, that you can do in the future? Do you think that you kind of just brought everything that you need? Yeah, I mean, it was business as usual. We, we know we belonged here. Um, we knew it all year and just, I mean, we played 44 times this year. It's a hard game and we're going to come through tomorrow when it matters. And sometimes you lose, it happens, uh, but we'll bounce back tomorrow and we're going to run the table here, win four straight and go home. Um, with, uh, the team playing the nationally ranked Baldwin Wallace, um, both teams, well, with BW losing and with, um, uh, is there anything that you necessarily are strategize on that you know that BW will capitalize on? Um, probably not one, any one thing in particular, but I, I can tell you, I think, you know, with our strength of schedule this year, we've, we've beaten some nationally ranked teams and nationally ranked teams that are nationally ranked multiple years. You know, teams like John Hopkins and Sarah Ray, uh, Arcadia this year. So um, we know Baldwin Wallace is right in that realm going to the World Series the last two years in a row. Um, but I think our guys are going to be up to the challenge. So we're going to try to sleep fast and get it done tomorrow. Yeah, that's a question for you guys. Roman, what's it like um, trying to get the starting nod in your first ever uh, big league tournament? Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Obviously, terrible feeling. Um, but the moment was awesome. and. Uh, I just wanted to try to give us a chance to win, and I think I did that. And just shitty, it's a bad feeling. Um, but it was a great moment. So it's really cool. Oh, and you were dealing, and um, you know your whole dugout had your back, and all these guys were supporting you along the end. Did you feel like you could kind of? Did you just kind of assume the role of you know, being a vocal leader, but also being? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I am a pretty vocal guy. I think every guy on the team will tell you that. I've been that way all year. Um, but, I mean, I saw this team go to the World Series two years ago, um, was on it, but didn't make the roster then. I saw what it took, and then I didn't think the moment was too big for me or anyone else on our team. It's just baseball. We, we played it all year. Thank you. Uh, so my questions. I appreciate your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.